update. So, I'm still pregnant. Back in the car. Back in the car. <laughs> car confessionals. On Monday, we got our check. Uh, no, we got uh, my cerclage removed, which I had said would be easy, because the first time was easy. This was not easy. It was actually terrible. Um, they tried getting it out in my stitch. The knot in my stitch had actually rotated 90 degrees, so it was really hard to find it and cut it and get it out. And there was a lot of tension and pressure on it, so the, the OB who was doing it just kind of like called in for reinforcements. So another OB came in, part of the practice, and then there were like three other people in the room, and it was terribly uncomfortable. Like, I compare it to labor with an epidural, but you know, you can't feel much, but it was definitely worse than that. Um, and I bled a lot, and then I felt a whole bunch of new pressure and tension um, and everything in different parts of my body because she obviously like dropped and that um, cerclage, that stitch was holding her in place. And then they checked me and I was three centimeters dilated, which seemed like a lot. When Harrison's cerclage was removed, I was one. And um, so we just walked around New Jersey, like where the hospital was, waiting for things to happen, if they were gonna happen, because it's right near my hospital, this doctor's office. And then we went for a recheck, he said, you're still three, and you have this like sheath of um, scar tissue basically holding in your baby. So we went home thinking like any minute it could happen. We had a delicious lunch nearby. So at least we have a new restaurant that's really good. Um, and then we went home, we both didn't sleep that great, but the next day felt pretty okay. So I did things as usual. Um, and then we made an appointment for the next day, which was yesterday on Wednesday, to get rechecked. So I went in and now I'm four centimeters dilated. My midwife said that the bag, like the amniotic sac filled with fluid, is like bulging through um, my cervix, which is dilated four centimeters. So that's also scary. It's like as soon as that just like slips a little more, it will pop and then I'll have to go. So now we're back on pins and needles, waiting for the any second. Today is Thursday. We're going to Hackensack, so the fourth doctor in the practice can see me and check my dilation. So there are four doctors in my practice, and everyone has checked dilation except for this one, who, who's like the main guy, and uh, he wants to see for himself. So I might be induced, depending if I'm like five and it's just a little too treacherous to let me go back and have it break and not be able to get to the hospital on time because they think my labor is going to be fast, like two hours fast. like. I don't have time to wait for a friend to come to my apartment, which will take, you know, 15 minute drive to watch my kid in case it's the middle of the night and we don't have coverage um, via our nanny or a family member. So it could happen today. He could decide that like, let's just do this thing because I'm 37 and two, 37 weeks and two days. Or they said tomorrow, I'm gonna come again, same thing and they're probably gonna send me to the hospital. I would think I'd be five by tomorrow. And I'm feeling just like new pressure in different parts down there and every time I pee, I'm like kind of like holding it in because I, I want the epidural. And maybe they're doing all this because I want an epidural, but I want an epidural and then they're probably gonna break the bag and then contractions will start and then baby will come and then we'll have a little baby girl. So crazy stuff, just like sitting around waiting to go into labor, but it's nice to have a deadline of sorts. So I think by tomorrow morning, this thing is gonna get going, but I've had too much time to think about it and dwell on like what it's gonna feel like and be, and I'm just nervous. I'm just like nervous about the pain and I'm nervous about delivery, though it should be easy and smooth and you know, it's like the unknown. The first time when Harrison was born, it was so like, shocking and surprising and I wasn't prepared for it that I just like went through the motions you know and like whatever you tell me to do I'm gonna do and then he was here and then they took him to the NICU and I was like okay I was kind of out of it this this one I'm like very a part of maybe too much so I'm, I'm picking apart all the things that can happen but this might be the last car confessional if not I will post again tomorrow